thank you. Um, <laughs> beautiful day, came out Saturday on a long weekend, so I really appreciate it. Uh, we're here obviously for the new uh, South County EMS headquarters building made possible by a generous donation from Deerfield Academy. Um, so we're here to celebrate that. We've got donations from Clarkdale Fruit Farms for the apple cider, which I heard is private stock. <laughs> Some cookies from Deerfield Academy, we'll have some food and uh, some other stuff later on. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, we're just going to get these things going. So first, I want to invite uh, Keith Feynman, the Chief Financial Officer from Deerfield Academy, up to say a few words. And... Oh! Do you want to introduce me? Sure. This is Zach Smith. He's the Director of our EMS Services. Good morning, everybody, and, and, and thanks for coming out. This is a, actually a surprise. I thought there would be about a dozen of us here to be celebrating. You know, on the way down here, it reminded me of how lucky, you know, we are to live in this community. Um, and, you know, I'm just very fortunate to say that um, I love being in Deerfield. And all summer long, I ride my bike through Waitley and Sunderland, and I know those residents have every reason to feel exactly the same way about their community. Where you live in a wonderful place. I say that because you know this event and actually this structure demonstrates how well we the community can grow and improve by working together. So to the town select boards and to the town managers, I want to thank them for working with us to enable this building and this facility to help both the communities, and by the communities I mean all of South County as well as the Academy and Eagle Brook and Goodman, it's really important for all of us that we know that as a community, if we have problems, you know, we'll be taken care of quickly and, and well. I promise to be very quick, and there's about a list of people that I could be up here for 15, 20, maybe half an hour, thinking, <laughs> but there are four that I really need to be specific, and I will. Uh, all State Materials Group from Sunderland, was kind enough to donate all of the McAdam black top for the driveway department. <laughs> Very generous and most appreciated. Um, I want to thank Zach, who helped work very carefully in terms of the design and figuring out what would actually work. I know he went to several other places to take a look with some of the folks. Uh, one of those folks being Tom Sharp, who was our project manager who really saw the whole project from the beginning all the way through its completion. And you and your folks did a great job, Tom. <laughs> Just as important, or perhaps more important, is Dick Kalachewski in his role as <laughs> building inspector. <laughs> He helped shepherd this project from its very conception all the way through the end, and frankly, in many ways, he made it possible. So, on behalf of Margarita and I, thank you very much for all you've done. Thank you for the relationship that the Academy has with the towns around us, and uh, we only wish you the best in the new buildings. Thank Thanks for coming. Keith mentioned the, the community as a large, and for those who don't understand or don't know, uh, South County EMS, we're actually a three-town uh, department. So we're the first of its kind, the only of its kind in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and we're municipal employees and we serve all three towns. So we kind of were born out of those three communities coming together, and we had a patch contest uh, a number of years ago to kind of figure out how we would identify ourselves and what that meant for us. And you can see it on the side of our building, um, it's not on the side of this truck yet, but uh, the design that we submitted, it was, it was overwhelming, the response that we got and everybody agreed that what it was, is this design here. And the seal in the middle is of the Blue Bridge in Sunderland, and we chose this patch because visible in the seal are the towns of Deerfield, Sunderland, and Waitley, with the bridge linking those communities together, just like South County EMS and the Mount Sugarloaf Observatory at the top kind of looking over everything. So 
That means a lot for us. We're very proud to wear it on our uniform, and I wanted to uh, give some patches to the Deerfield Academy people that are here. If I miss anybody, oh yeah, over there. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much. I, I hope that you like the patch just as much as our, our staff does. Um, so with that, I want to hand it over. I, like I said, we're a three-town thing, so our, above me is a board of oversight, and that's comprised of two members from each of the three towns. Uh, we have board of oversight meetings, and they kind of oversee everything. Um, so I wanted to bring the Board of Oversight members up who were able to join us today for uh, any words that they wanted to say. Uh, should we start with you? Sure. Great. Jonathan Edwards, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank everyone for coming today. Um, thank you for the Academy for absolutely incredible generosity. Um, this absolutely would have to be possible without their generosity. Um, the partnership of these three towns has been amazing. When we started talking about regionalizing the ambulance service back in 2011, I want to say, um, there were a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that were, that were poured over creating this building and bringing these three towns together. And there are a lot of people in this room that were a big part of, of figuring out how to make that, that work best. People who were against it, people who were for it. And we showed that covering our differences really, make, really is, is the game changer. Um, real quickly, when I saw the chairman of our board, Bobby O'Hearn, last night, he asked me if I wanted to say a couple words, and I just said, seven and a half minutes. And he was just like, no, you're not going to speak for seven and a half minutes. I said, seven and a half minutes. <laughs> so you're not going to speak for seven. I said, no, I'm not. Seven and a half minutes is what this is all about, because this currently is the response time that these guys out here provide us with on a daily basis. that push 20, 25, 30 minutes, sometimes as much as 50 minutes. Heart palpitations, something going wrong, you feel like it's a lifetime, and sometimes it is. And we moved that to seven and a half minutes, and the staff and Zach of this place are absolutely incredible, and they're the ones that we should be thankful for on a daily basis. So, thank you everybody for coming. I want to mention um, my colleague from Wake, who's on the Board, on the, on the board of Oversight, over here, Gary Stone, who makes me look ridiculous when we talk about the ambulance because he knows so much more than I do. So, um, thanks everybody, and who wants to go next? Kip? Sure. <laughs> hey, thanks all for coming. My name is Kip Camos, I'm one of the Deer for Selectmen. And I can't say thanks enough to both Keith and Margarita for this generous gift. I know that they put a lot of thought into this and uh, I was quite pleasantly surprised uh, when I learned that this was all going to happen. Um, I, without them, it would be impossible. Uh, you know, I've been a contractor for 45 years and I learned that getting a project done last or next week is not usually acceptable. Everybody wants it yesterday. And so I learned to get projects going sometimes you need a little gas and a match. Well, welcome to the municipal world. <laughs> they expect the same fire that they're given, you're given a rock and a wet stick. And, you know, it's hard to get it done. So for them, I'm very grateful. And uh, it, it was a very personal thing for me. And I'm, I'm glad that it worked out to serve all three communities. And we're all deeply indebted to you. Thank you very much. Trevor McDaniel on the uh, Board of Oversight and Select in, in town of Deerfield. Um, I just want to thank Deerfield Academy on behalf of the Deerfield Select Board, uh, Board of Health, South County Board of Oversight, and residents of Sunderland, Wakeney, and Deerfield. Uh, I can't begin to tell you what this means to our community, but I'll say this. Um, you brought our towns closer together. You have given us a home. Um, when you live in a home, you're a family. Uh, your bonds with each other grow stronger. Our community grows stronger. Regional cooperation is the future, um, and this organization and this home is a shining example of that cooperation between communities. I can't thank you enough for all the ways you help uh, better our community and set an example for your students um, to help foster good in their community. So thank you to Keith, the Board of Trustees, and the whole PA uh, community.
I'm actually the, I'm Carolyn Ness, I'm the Board of Selectmen of Deerfield and um, actually the fiscal agent and I can tell you that when I saw this building last week at our uh, South County meeting I was like wow this is an amazing building and it was such a lovely gift and after years of hustling even I couldn't envision such a lovely <laughs> building that we got out of this and um, so I, it's just absolutely fabulous as of the fiscal agent I know that we could not have had the, the burden of the capital expense of carrying such a lovely building. This, to do this on the municipal level would have been um, really breaking us, um, bankrupting us as a community and a service. So the, having this gift means that we can continue offering paramedic level service 24-7 to our communities. And it, it is documented that we have saved lives. It is documented that we are saving lives, and, and now we can continue to save lives. And I just want to say thank you very much for this gift. This is just lovely. And I want to go back and say thank you to the Beat family for donating this property because this is the ideal location for the home of, of the South County EMS. It is the closest uh, in the radius of all three communities. I myself are at the fringe. <laughs> The average seven minutes means that there is some of us that live way, way out and some of us that live really close. But the fact is we have a service that is life-saving and I just want to say thank you very much for making it possible. I'd just like to say a couple of words. Um, you know, 10, 12 years ago when David Zamoyski kept bothering me and saying, why don't we uh, try to do something together? And I was like, yeah, 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 great. <laughs> this ain't never gonna happen. I'd like to thank Deerfield Academy for giving us this great building and getting us off in the right direction. Uh, the service has gone from three towns that were struggling to three towns that are working together and we've got a great service. Um, right now I'd like to present Zach with this plaque from the Board of Oversight and uh, select people from uh, different towns. Um, National EMS Week 2018, South County EMS Headquarters Building. Made possible with a generous donation from Deerfield Academy along with the hard work and dedication of the department members and support of the community. Uh, This dedication plaque will hang in our lobby, so uh, hopefully if you're ever here for uh, pleasure, and not <laughs> uh, you can read the names. Uh, Dick Kalachewski, our building commissioner, is listed front and center on there for helping make this happen. So, uh, you know, we talked about the members of the department, and Jonathan Edwards opened with that, and I think it's only fitting that I kind of close these remarks with that as well. Uh, we have a really high standard of medical care at this department, and the people in the gray and the high visibility, um, they wouldn't be here were it not for that dedication to good medical care and supporting their community. And everything you hear about South County EMS, how wonderful we are, what great response times we have, is all thanks to them. And every single one of them is here today, not because you know they've been assigned this shift or anything, that's because they wanted to be here, they love this building, um, and it means that before, when they had to drive to Sunderland and Waitley in their private vehicles just to pick up equipment and check on equipment, now they can come to a home where everybody is together um, and, and work together uh, in, in, a, in a home, which is great. So, thank you very much. Yeah, the only thing that leaves is the ribbon cutting ceremony. And because we're a medical provider, we used EKG monitor paper. Um, so, very fitting. so I'd like to have the boo and any Deerfield Academy residents stand up and help us cut this. Everybody ready? On three, one, two, three. 